I have, I have, I have one. But I tell it a bit, that bit, so you guys might already know it. You guys, you guys know the fart cloud story? No. You don't know the fart cloud story? No. I don't know it, but I can imagine it. <laughs> um, well, you know, some folks are not embarrassed about farting in public. And um, Jared is one of those folks who's not embarrassed about farting in public. Has he ever farted on stage in front of you all at all? Okay, I'm surprised. Um, but it's impossible that he hasn't. Oh, yeah, I think it's impossible. Um, so uh, it was it was in the season five finale. You know that you know the, I don't know you know the scene where I blow on the glass and I make the yeah. thing right. <clears throat> well, uh, and I'm explaining to them whatever I'm explaining to them. I did that whole scene in Jared's fart cloud. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure it's the one they took because they said action. <laughs> they said action, and I heard this. <laughs> And we kept going, so I just launched into my little speech there in a, in a Jared Fart Cloud. So that's my, that's my favorite memory of Jared. He's like a walking Chernobyl. <laughs> He's a biological hazard, is what he is. Yeah, yeah. And so you've had this similar experience. Well, it's not just me. Just in general, I couldn't point to a specific instance, but because they weren't so much specific instances as just general epochs. Uh, um, it just went on and on and on, and uh, and uh, and that's why I asked them to kill me off. <laughs> did, 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 you, did you ever think at any point to say, "What in the fuck are you eating?" Well, I I I thought it a lot, uh, and and at some point, at some point, I don't know. It, it may have correlated with the changes in his physical structure over the course of the show, but at some point it got less horrifying. Oh, okay. Yeah. So as it, as it became I, like, either, I got used to it. You were losing your sense of imagine. Used to losing your sense of smell. So, yeah. You became, you became Jared, you know how they say, nose blind? Or nose yeah, blind yeah, to yeah, Jared. yeah, yeah. Thank okay. you, God. Yeah. Um, favorite memory? Well, I got a lot of them, but one of them is um, the episode where uh, um, Jen was in introduced uh, 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 as, oh God, I can't remember anything. The first episode we saw the lady who became Mrs. Padalecki. Ruby. Ruby! Yeah, Ruby. Yeah. The first time we saw her, that episode, uh, we had a scene in this motel room where uh, I think I think uh, Jared had to attack Dean, and I had to pull him off of Dean. Thanks. And I uh, <coughs> see if I can do this. I I ran up and I grabbed him. My hands went over his shoulders onto here, and I. I, I remember going, <laughs> it's like steel plate. <laughs> I mean, it was, there wasn't any give at all. It wasn't even like flesh was attached to it. And I thought, I'm, I'm supposed to pull Iron Man off this guy? <laughs> so, you know, but it's the magic of television. And, um, Somehow I managed to pull him off. <laughs> I had a similar sort of feed sense when we were fighting in the cage. Uh, I hit I hit him in the in the gut, you know, and and you just you sort of tap, you, you sort of touch when you're hitting in the stomach, and it was like I was hitting a oak tree. Yeah, yeah. It was a little, you know, you have that moment like I'm in I'm in the wrong fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's uh, it's he, he he makes up in physical invulnerability for many, many other shortcomings in this world. <laughs> Including the gaseousness that we won't continue to talk about. Thank you so much. <laughs>